Hello Dev and welcome back to App Dev Made Easy. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a pop-up using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this video, I will show you step by step how to create a simple pop-up that you can use on your own website. We will cover all the necessary code and explain each one of them so you can understand how it works. By the end of this video, you will have a working pop-up that you can customize to your own needs. So, if you are ready to learn, let's get started. Okay, very good. So now let's create our files, okay? Our structure file right from the beginning. Starting from scratch, you have our index.html. Now let's have also style.css. And then for interactive, let's have our app.js. Okay, let's come back here to the index.html and let's give it a title, okay, with the name of the project. How to make a pop up. The second step here, let's have a link, connect our markup to our CSS, and another one connecting our script, our external JavaScript file. To our HTML file, okay, and that is this differ. Let's apply some style, okay, to our project. Let's start by changing the font. Let's go to the Google fonts, and here let's grab the poppings. Let me just paste it here, and now let's go to our CSS reset. Why? Because we want our project to be the same across different browsers, okay, different ones offer different. Padding and imaging. Okay? So margin zero, padding zero, box size is gonna be border box. And for the font family, now let's use that poppings from Google Fonts. Okay, here it is. And so set it as a full back plan. Going back to our HTML, let's have our main container, the one that's gonna wrap around everything. Okay. Let's go to style and here let's give it a size and some properties. Let's grab the container. We want that to have a width of 100%. The height is gonna be 100 VH. Okay. Let's pick a nice background. Let's have this linear gradient, okay? Going to the right. And that is this color here. There's a link down below so you can copy it. Don't have to. Type with me, okay, you can just copy the main colors. 20, 9, 32, 3D, and yeah, we have this size color. The layout here, we want that to be flex, okay, display flex, align items along the cross axis center, and along the main axis, it's gonna be also center, putting everything right in the middle, all right? And now creating our button, okay, the one that you click and it's gonna bring the pop-up the type submit and the class btn. We're gonna be using that on JavaScript, okay? Let's say submit. And as I told you, it's right in the middle because of the layout of flex and just like content and the line center both in the center, okay? We have a button and now we're gonna style it, okay? So let's come here and let's say apply a padding of 10 pixels top of the bar and 6 pixels left and right. The background, we want that to be white. About the border, let's say zero. So we don't want any border at all. Okay. Outline none. So you can click. There is no outline. And the cursor, it will that to be pointer so the user knows that he's clicking on something okay another thing here is the font size we want that to be bigger so 22 pixels font to eight is going to be 500 now we can see very well and about the radius let's say 10 pixels make it round or it bothers it was very square very sharp and we don't want that let me see what else. Yeah, it's pretty much that, okay? So let's also give it a nice animation here, a simple, nice animation. So the user knows that he's clicking on something. 
it's responding to him. So BTN, when this is active, let's use here the transform scale and let's shrink it a little bit. Okay, just to 0 0.95. Let's apply a transition of on transform of 0 0.2 seconds. And yeah, very nice. We have a working button, but now we're gonna create the pop-up itself. Okay, this is gonna be quite simple. So back here in the HTML, let's have this div. Let's call this one pop-up, okay? Also with the idea of pop-up for the JavaScript. Okay, it's that simple. And inside this one, let's have uh, a image, okay? There is a link down below, so you can download this one, or you can use your own, okay? IMG here, if I can type, yeah, IMG, and tick. All right, as you can see, we have a huge picture here on the right. Let me decrease a little bit the zoom. Let me zoom out. And under this one, let's have a H2, and our H2 is gonna say something like, thank you. Under this one, as you can see, it's very simple. Let's have a paragraph saying wherever you want. In our case, let's say, your details have been successfully submitted. And let's say, thanks. Okay, as you can see on the right, you have big part of our pop-up, okay? Looks like you are missing something. Yeah, we need that button, say okay. This way the user can close it, okay? So let me give more space so you can see. Under this one, let's have another button. This is gonna be a very simple button. The type here is gonna be just button and this one is gonna say just okay all right this is the one that's is gonna be allowing the user to just close it so that's it our pop-up is great now let's style it all right we have our pop-up here the next step is gonna be style it okay so let's start by grabbing this one, the dot pop-up, okay? This was the class. Let's give a width of 400 pixels. We cannot see anything yet because it, there is no color. So let's change that with background color white and now we can see it, okay? Our pop-up is done. Border radius, let's say six pixels, make it round with colors. All right, let's go here to the next step of our project and let's have a position of absolute. Okay, it's gonna be easier because we want that to come in from the top to the middle of the page. So let's use the old way of centralize a div with top 50% and left 50%. Later on, we are going to change that top to zero, okay? It's going to be there on the top. Let's continue here with just on translate. Minus 50% and minus 50%. I guess everybody knows it, okay? I could use grid or maybe flexbox, but that is that animation, okay? We need to change the top. Text align, let's have that in the center with text align center. Okay, so far, so good. And the next step here, let's have a padding of zero top, 30 right and 60 bottom. We don't need this pixel here, so let's get you rid of it. It is unnecessary. And I guess one more thing we have to do here is just change the color, okay? So the color here is gonna be a grayish color, 333. 
Now let's deal with the elephant in the room. Okay, this picture is too big and out of place. So let's start by picking this up. Okay, dot pop up and image. Let's give a width of 100%, make it smaller, much smaller. Okay, but we want that on the top. So the margin top here is going to be minus 50%. Okay, it's in the right position. The one you see right now is not the one we're going to use until the end of the project. We're going to change that. Okay. But the radius 50%. Make it round. It was already round, but in case you have something square. Box shadow 0 and 2 offset and the 5 pixels blur. Okay, blur radius. The RGB, a speaky black color and with the alpha value of 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 0 0.3 is okay give it some transparency styling from the top to the bottom and show to you every line of code and explain now we go to the h2 uh, thank you okay so the pop-up h2 and let's change the font size to 30 pixels Okay, the font weight we want that to be 500, and let's also apply some matching here. Okay, 30 pixels, zero, and also 10 pixels, and yeah, it looks good now. Now, let's grab this ugly OK button and let's make it become a real button. Okay, we should start by changing size. Okay, with gonna be 100%. Let's bring it down with margin top of 50 pixels. As you can see, it's already there. Padding here, 10 pixels, top and bottom in zero, left and right. Let's pick a background color, one that fits with our picture up there. And you also need to change the color of OK. Right now it's black and now white. Fits our project. We don't need any bother, so bother zero. And another step here is gonna be outline none. So when you click, there is an ugly outline. The font size let's increase a little bit to 18 pixels. Bother radius, we want that to be four pixels. Make it a little round or at its corners. And we also want to apply some box shadow here. Okay, so let's copy this one. You don't have to do everything. Just copy here and make a couple of changes like this one. The offset uh, vertical is going to be 5 pixels. And yeah, a button is done. All right, so far we have the button and we also have this pop-up. But we want to create the animation. So let's get started here, okay? And the top here, the initial, initially is gonna be zero, okay? Let's also change the size. We want that to start very small and invisible. So the scale, if I can type it here, is gonna be 0 0.1, as you can see, very small, okay? And the third thing we're gonna do is make it invisible. Okay, visibility hidden on our HTML part. We're gonna have a attribute. Okay, on click referring to a Java script function. Okay, in this case, it's gonna be called open pop up. Okay, in a couple of seconds, we're gonna be creating this open pop up and close pop up. Okay, the second button also has an on click. This time, let's call this one close pop-up now in the realm of the javascript where the magic happens okay let's start out by grabbing the pop-up document get element by id and let's save that into available let's call that pop-up okay now we can create that function we talk about open and close the pop-up all right just to think the pop-up does it opens and then close so let's use two functions the first one here is gonna grab the pop-up dot class list add and let's add here a class 
and guess the name of the class here opening pop up so it's that simple okay not no complication at all let's duplicate this one and let's do the second thing that the pop up does it's close the pop up okay instead of add let's say remove and it's gonna remove the same thing the open pop up class we don't have that yet but we are gonna create that on css okay so let's change gears and let's go back to the css very quickly here and create that animation okay so let's have here the the class okay if i can type open and pop up and a couple of things that are going to happen here okay first of all the visibility is going to be visible of course we're going to see that the top is going to go from zero to 50 percent and the transform we want to put that in the middle again so transform and translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent remember the scale which was very small now it's gonna have the full size of 100 percent so let's click here and yeah it's working so that's it for today's guys i really hope you like it if you like it thumbs up subscribe and i'm gonna see you in the next video Bye-bye and see you.